So the idea of Teslas and solar panels have gone hand in hand since the beginning of the company, and they even quietly changed their own mission statement from accelerating the advent of sustainable transport to accelerating the advent of sustainable energy. So we're gonna have these at highway rest stops all, over, all around the country um, and around the world. You, you'll be able to travel for free forever on pure sunlight. A lot of people also forget that when Tesla unveiled the supercharger network in 2012, they said all superchargers would be powered by the sun. Then in 2017, Elon tweeted that all superchargers are being converted to solar and battery power. Over time, almost all will disconnect from the electricity grid. And earlier this year, Tesla actually launched its first solar and battery powered supercharger in Tibet. But where I think it gets really interesting is that Elon has publicly said he wants to add solar panels to his cars. In 2016, he went as far as to say that the Model 3 would be unveiled with a solar roof, with the potential for a deployable solar shield, and he even said it wasn't going to cost that much. Later though, in 2017, he backed down from all of this. Someday, is the solar technology gonna to get to well, a point where... It's kind of a surface area issue, so if you just leave it out in the sun, you know, probably bring, you know, recharges a few miles a day type of thing. Oh, it, was only, it would only be a few miles. Yeah. 2017 is really a lifetime ago when it comes to solar advancements. So in May of this year, we learned that Tesla had officially filed for patents for a retractable solar bed cover for the Cybertruck. And Elon even confirmed this on Twitter saying the Cybertruck solar bed could generate 15 miles per day, maybe more and with solar wings possibly get 30 to 40 miles per day of range. So all of this kind of gets my brain thinking and I thought, what if you could take the best of both worlds, meaning the best, most popular EVs in the world like the Model 3 and the Model Y and give them the highest quality solar cells and battery tech and kind of seamlessly integrate them into these Teslas. And that is exactly what the startup called EV Solar Kits is doing out of Austin, Texas. Now to be clear, this video is not sponsored by them, but I was just so fascinated by their product that's currently in development that I reached out to learn more about this fully integrated solar kit. So it is designed for the Model 3 and Model Y plus other EVs, although they told me it's not for all EVs yet. So here's what I learned. The kit comes with a 400 watt roof flex panel that sits flush with your Tesla. Internal testing shows that the roof alone is generating 12 to 14 miles of charge per day based on an average of six hours per day in the sun. So put this in a sunny place like California in the summer for 12 hours and you can get as much as 30 miles per day of added range. And if you want, you can get the stackable flex panels added to your kit which stores perfectly in the rear trunk well, and the 1600 watt system can generate as much as 60 miles of range per day out in the sun. They also said that they're fully aware of the perception that you can't get usable range on an EV from an onboard solar setup. And you guys know, um, Elon talked about this with the lack of space um, years ago and solar efficiency. But based on recent advancements in just the top tier solar and secondary batteries they're using and the extendable panel system, they're confident this product is going to be a game changer. They're still finalizing the engineering phase, but they do expect to go into production as early as next summer. It comes with six kilowatt inverter and advanced battery pack, which all again fits into that rear well of your Tesla. And it has several outlets on it, including a 220 volt plug as well. EV Solar Kits does have an Indiegogo page, which is the crowdsourcing website that a lot of engineers and startups go to, and they're starting to accept pre-sale reservations right now. Now, I did ask them directly about the cost, and I was pretty pleased with what I found out. But before I go any further, I do want to take a few seconds and thank the Ridge Walt for continuing to support this channel. So talk to anyone who owns these, and they will tell you they are like the Tesla walls because of their modern and sleek design, and they make amazing Christmas gifts or holiday gifts and basically they're just the opposite of your old bulky bifold wallets that just become so beat up and messy looking after a while. So these are my husband's that he uses and goes back and forth between and they're sexy and they have great build quality to them and they hold up to 12 cards each plus cash and they come in cool styles like this carbon fiber.
fiber and burnt titanium. And the Ridge is so confident that you will love your wallet that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. And if you're not happy, you can send it back for a full refund. So check out ridge.com slash Kim Java and enter code Kim Java for 10% off. Okay, so back to EV solar kits. And they were pretty transparent with me saying they know that the product won't be for everyone. And again, you can choose to just get the roof solar kit and not the entire option with the foldable flex panels, but they think that people like outdoor adventurers and campers will get a kick out of having something like this for their cars. And I personally think that there is a ton of cool factor with something like this too. Now, when I asked them how much you should expect to pay for this kit, they said they're still kind of finalizing everything as far as engineering details, and they want to make sure this product meets people's expectations first. But they're confident the entire kit with the extendable panels and the battery pack will stay below $5,000. They said the battery will also be able to trickle charge the car and stay fully loaded as an emergency backup. So I was also really curious about the installation process and if installing something like this would need a professional to do it. But they said that the kit can be installed by the user and confirmed the battery connects via the internals of the charge port so it can charge continuously even while you're driving. And they also told me it will be easy enough to do this where the customer can do it themselves. They also confirmed that it won't void any manufacturer warranties. Now putting solar panels on cars is nothing new, right? I saw it firsthand on the Fisker Karma years ago and some startups like Aptera Motors, Lightyear One and Sona Motors have all taken a crack at it too. Some of these solar EVs like the Lightyear One are delivering as early as next summer. They have about 450 miles of range and can get as much as 45 miles of range just from the sun on a summer day. So we know if done right, getting usable daily range from the sun is possible with today's tech. Some even integrate solar cells into roofs and windows and other body parts, such as doors, hoods, tailgates, and trunks. But again, at about 30 miles of range added from the sun, you can essentially drive off the sun forever for your daily driver in the US, since the average American driver drives about 30 miles a day. And in Europe, the average person drives closer to 20 miles per day. So as technology keeps advancing in this area and solar panels and battery materials continue getting cheaper, the thought of having your EV be able to drive purely off the sun for its typical day-to-day -day use becomes a lot more realistic. So I'm curious what your thoughts are on having solar as an option for your Tesla or your EV. Would this be something that you guys would be interested in and how much would you pay for a kit like this? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about EV solar kits, I've linked them in the description below and you can sign up to get updates from them on their website. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, it would help us out a ton if you press the like button. And if you haven't already, do make sure that you are subscribed. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.